experiencing right now a couple days out for your your first NFL start? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm excited, obviously, but not going to make it bigger than what it is. Uh, feel prepared and uh, I had a good week um, preparing, I guess, honestly, pretty similar to, to how I usually do, obviously, getting getting more reps. Um, was hoping Jimmy would, would be healthy for sure, um, but he's done an awesome job, and him and Nate both have helped me out a ton this week, um, and, and Rich and, and Coach Shanahan as well. Uh, so I'm excited for it, for sure, excited for the opportunity. What's this week been like? Usually you get a package of plays. This time the entire game plan is designed specifically for you against a specific opponent. So what's this process been like to learn the game plan and, and study the Cardinals defense to a greater range than you had the previous four games? Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's it's pretty similar. My preparation is pretty similar, uh, obviously, other than getting more reps. Um, but the offense is, is the offense. Uh, and me and Jimmy do a lot of similar things and, and play and see the game uh, in a similar way. So nothing really changes. Um, obviously, the defense dictates more what we do than anything. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, I'm excited for this opportunity. In terms of the actual challenge of facing an undefeated team with a star quarterback, what kind of extra juice does that give you? I mean, I'm excited. I think I'd be excited regardless of, of what game it is. I'm um, probably just excited uh, for this one as I was week one, two, three, and four. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to make it bigger than what it is. Uh, it's football. I feel prepared. Uh, I feel ready to go. Uh, I'm excited to go out and compete with these guys. You had a chance to go back and watch what you did in the second half against Seattle. What did you see? How did you evaluate your own performance? Uh, yeah, learned a ton, uh, for sure, going back and watching it. Uh, but I'd say probably it's the same stuff right now that I did right after the game. Uh, missed a few, some good, some bad, uh, but definitely learned a lot from it and got better from it. Tell us one or two things you learned from that experience. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I don't want to go into too much detail. Um, but yeah, missed a few. Like I said, um, check downs will be big for sure. Um, and I think just getting a feel with these guys uh, as far as off schedule stuff, um, for sure, w with the receivers has been awesome. Um, not that you get to rep it a ton, uh, but just for those guys being able to see it, uh, me being able to see it, you know, what I missed, what I did, uh, what I didn't do, things like that uh, helps me out a ton. I was talking to Trent Sherfield yesterday about you, and he said he sees you often sticking around late to go watch film uh, by yourself or whether it's with which. Can you take us through some of that film sessions that you do and whether you ramped it up this week? Um, yeah, I probably ramped it up a little bit this week, uh, just probably because I had more to watch uh, of myself, uh, which, which is fun during practice. Um, but yeah, Trent's a guy that's also here uh, later and, and first one in, last one out uh, for sure. And everyone in the locker room will tell you that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm excited. I'm not going to make it bigger than what it is, but uh, for sure, want to feel prepared and it's my job to do so. You guys obviously want to get the run game going and, and you're part of that as are Elijah Mitchell and Trey Sermon. What does it mean to have those, you know, you three rookies uh, kind of, I don't know, hide at the hip a little bit as far as uh, trying to get the ground game going against the Cardinals on Sunday? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, super excited to have Elijah back. He's uh, had a great week of practice. Um, so uh, excited definitely to, to be in the backfield, have those guys next to me in the backfield, um, have a lot of confidence in them. And like I said, they've had great, week, great weeks of practice. Um, and, and I know they're ready for it. They've had, they've had more reps and, and Trey's healthy and Elijah's healthy now. So. I uh, feel very confident in those guys. Do you hear that, that Trey has run the option stuff before? I mean, did it, did it take very long for you and him to get on the same page as far as reading those together? Um, he, he has great vision all, all around, and I noticed that, and the coaching staff noticed that, and I think that's a big reason of, of why he's here. Uh, but his vision of the field um, and, and making cuts and how big and physical he can be uh, separates him for sure. And I think him and Elijah, like I said, the one-two punch with those two guys, uh, they've done a great job, each other, uh, leading the new guys in the room, helping those guys come along since they had been here since, since OTAs and training camp, uh, but also learning from each other. Uh, so it's been a ton of fun. And, and like I said, yeah, absolutely. Trey's, Trey's done a great job with vision, and, and you can tell he's done a lot of the same stuff. Hey, uh, Steve Young said on the radio about before your time, um, but you know, when he was with the Buccaneers early on, very athletic, and you know, wasn't obviously refi totally refined as a passer, but he said in watching you just the way you, you competed and you know, it, it reminded him of the same kind of will he had. It was like, maybe I'm not totally ready in all areas, but I'm going to figure this out and I'm going to find a way to get it done. I don't know, do you, you relate to that? And obviously you feel like, yeah, you, you can uh, 
find your way through some of the things that maybe you're not ready for? I mean, I'm going to try to. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I feel very prepared, though. Uh, I really do. And I think, you know, that's a credit to the coaching staff and, and the guys around me. Um, those guys have made me feel very confident this week. Um, and, and I feel confident in myself, just as I did going into the Seattle game and just as I did, you know, every other week before this. Uh, but I'm definitely not going to put my name up there with, with that guy's name at all. Uh, but, yeah, that, that's pretty cool that, that he's talking about me as well. Uh, but excited and feel ready for the week. Have you met him yet? spoken to No, I haven't. I haven't. Your, your, uh, your first throw to George on Sunday was pretty well off the mark. You, you know, looking back, was that, was that nerves? And was there, there any sort of... I don't know, joking about that with, with George or anybody else? Just, you know, obviously you got into a much better rhythm as the game went on. Yeah, I mean, I'll say the same thing now that I did right after the game. I mean, it was I wouldn't put it on nerves or anything like that. I think just maybe overthinking it. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to, again, make it a bigger deal than it is. Uh, it's an easy throw. I made it a million times, so... Uh, I'm not even going to really think about it. But, yeah, we, we joked about it a little bit after. Um, obviously, it would have been much more fun to joke after with W, uh, so we're going to get that done this week. Thank Appreciate you guys. guys. Thank you. Thank you.